Bulgaria is one of the oldest countries in Europe, but also one of the least explored. When we thought about going to Bulgaria, we only had a week to visit the country. As the flight landed in Sofia, it is clear that the capital of Bulgaria would be the first place to visit. Although part of the group didn't have high expectations for Sofia, in the end, it was a pleasant surprise for everyone. There are a number of things to visit and enjoy around the city center, on a tour that is very well done on foot. We spent two full days in Sofia, and it was more than enough. Then, we went to Veliko Tarnovo and took the bus trip. It was three hours of travel that passed in an instant. Veliko Tarnovo is a city in central northern Bulgaria, on the banks of the Yanta River. It is often referred to as the city of the Tsars. The city has a unique architecture, in which we highlight the old city and the three hills that rise from the river. It would be very nice if you like the video and subscribe to the channel, to see more videos about wonderful destinations like this one. Again on the road, and again by bus, we went to visit the Black Sea, more precisely the city of Varna. The trip lasted again about three hours, in which we enjoyed landscapes that varied from cereal plains to low hills. Varna is a somewhat run-down seaside town, where we highlight the fantastic park that runs along the beaches, making a buffer between the beach and the city, and the archaeology museum that you should not miss. The park is very well maintained and deserves a long walk. It is the third city in Bulgaria and has an important history where the presence of the Roman Empire stands out at every corner. Okay. Going back to the beginning, what did we see in Sofia? 1. St. Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. The scale of this building will blow you away. Inside Street Alexander Nevsky has room for 10,000 people and it's the second largest cathedral in the Balkan region. 2. St. George Rotunda. The heart of ancient Serdica and the oldest building in modern Sofia, this red brick church was built all the way back in 300s. 3. Vitasha Boulevard. The fanciest street in the city, Vitasha Boulevard is where all the posh boutiques and fashion houses are clustered. 4. St. Sophia Church. It was this church that gave the city of Sofia its name in the 1300s during the Second Bulgarian Empire. These were our top 5 places for the city of Sofia. If you like, subscribe to see the next video about Sofia, which we will share in a few weeks. Next, we will present our top 5 places for the city of Veliko Tarnovo. 1. Visit Saravets Hill with its medieval fortress. During the two centuries when Veliko Tarnovo was the second Bulgarian Empire's capital, Saravets Fortress was the most important of Bulgaria's castles. Perched atop Saravets Hill, this glorious stronghold is incredibly preserved. It's without question one of the absolute top things to see in Veliko Tarnovo and a major tourist attraction in Bulgaria. 2. Stroll through Gurko Street. Gurko Street is one of the prettiest streets in the old town. Numerous gorgeous old buildings line this historic paved and cobbled street. It makes for a wonderful stroll and offers glimpses of the Yantra River along which it runs. 3. Check out the historic nearby town of Arbanese. The town of Arbanese is very close to Veliko Tarnovo, a few kilometers drive away. It's famous for two main reasons, the presence of Bulgarian national revival architecture and the beautiful nativity of Christ Church frescoes. 4. Admire the interesting street art. Veliko Tarnovo has a lot of interesting street art throughout the old town, and it's definitely well worth getting a bit lost on the streets that intersect with the main street to see what you stumble across. Veliko Tarnovo is quite small, after all, so you won't wander far. 5. Visit the monument to the Asin dynasty. The monument to the Asin dynasty is dedicated to the kings Asin, Peter, Kalian, and Ivan Asin II. It was built in 1985 with the celebration of 800 years since the brothers Asin and Peter's rebellion. The sword, around which the four Essens are situated, symbolizes the power and the rise of medieval Bulgaria. These were our top 5 places for the city of Veliko Tarnovo. Next, we will present our top 5 places for the city of Varna. 1. Walk in the Sea Garden. A massive park that runs along the seafront and cuts into the city for quite a way too, the Sea Garden is a national monument of landscaped architecture. The Sea Garden has plenty to see and do, but on a blistering day, nothing beats an easy restorative wander along the broad promenades, next to flower beds and in the shade of the palms and deciduous trees. 2. 
visit the Archaeological Museum. Varna's Roman heritage has given the city a trove of precious artifacts, but the Gold of Varna exhibit pushes the Archaeological Museum up the list of must-sees. This is what most visitors come for, a collection of gold and precious items recovered from the Varna necropolis, where Thracian graves date back an amazing 6,500 years. This makes the Gold of Varna the oldest gold treasure in the world. These artifacts have toured the world and contain numerous pieces of jewelry, utensils, and other decorative items. 3. Visit the Varna Cathedral. The shining copper domes of this majestic church form one of the city's postcard scenes. The cathedral was built not long after the Bulgarian liberation from the Ottomans by the Russians in the late 19th century and was modeled on the temple at Peterhof Palace in St. Petersburg. As you can see, the cathedral was undergoing restoration and we were unable to enter. 4. Take a bath in the Black Sea. In summer the temperatures in Varna soar to the high 20s, but luckily you'll always have the option of cooling off on a Black Sea beach. 5. Visit the Varna Roman Baths. Just to the southeast of Varna is a bath complex that once belonged to the Roman city of Odessa. These baths date back to the year 100, they're among the largest Roman thermi to survive in Europe and only second of all those outside Rome. Thanks for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Stay healthy and see you soon.